Thank you so much for joining us here today. My name is Dana Gerardo. And my name is Dr. Blake. And we're here to talk to you today about what you can expect when you first take your hearing aids home. So new hearing aids are a big change. Be patient. Our initial goal is to make soft sounds audible and loud sounds comfortable, not necessarily make everything sound perfect right away. So we're retraining your brain to hear sounds that it's been missing. You may notice that your turn signal in your car makes a noise, or the dishwasher is louder than normal, or the floorboards in your house creak. These are all normal sounds that people can hear. Remember, your brain will learn to ignore those sounds that are not important and focus on the ones that are. One of the most common things people notice in the beginning is the sound of their own voice. Um, sometimes it feels loud or it's even been described as, you know, having an ex echo and that's because our own voice is the closest thing to the microphone of the hearing aid. As our brain acclimates to sound, the perception of your own voice will start to sound more normal. This process usually takes about a week to two weeks, but everyone is different. Being consistent is the most important part of getting used to hearing with your new devices. Ideally, we want you to put the hearing aids on first thing in the morning and wear them all day, unless you're swimming or showering. Even if you don't think you need to hear, it's important to wear the hearing aids. The more consistent you are with use, the faster your brain gets used to the sounds. If wearing the hearing aids all day is too overwhelming, do the best you can. Try for a minimum of six hours and gradually increase every day. And again, consistency is key. Try keeping a hearing aid log, or excuse me, a hearing log for situations that have improved and maybe the ones that need a little bit more improvement. Um, a hearing aid fitting is initially subjective because sounds are, per, are perceived. Uh, the more feedback you're able to provide, the more we can fine tune the hearing aids for your hearing. Also, you can expect to hear some whistling or some feedback as you put the hearing aids in your ears. However, you should not continue to have that whistling once the devices are inserted correctly. If they do continue to, whist to whistle, it's likely that they're not inserted properly. Try looking in the mirror or um, if you're having, try looking in the mirror if you're having difficulty getting the hearing aids in. So uh, we wanted to take a minute to demonstrate actually how, um, what a hearing aid, a properly inserted hearing aid actually looks like on the ear. So we have several different types of hearing instruments. I'm gonna start with one of the most common hearing instruments, which is the receiver and the canal uh, hearing instrument. So I like to do this in a four step process. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hearing instrument and you're gonna slide it behind your ear, just like you would the arm of your glasses. The second step, you're gonna take this little piece that has the rubber dome on it and you're gonna direct it into the beginning of your ear canal, but you're not gonna insert it in all the way just yet. The third step, we have this little tail here. This is a retention tail. It helps keep the hearing instrument down in the ear. You're gonna take that and you're gonna flip it right into the bowl of your ear canal. The fourth step, you're gonna point your finger like a gun. You're gonna use your fingernail, not the pad of your finger. You're gonna connect your fingernail onto that little retention tail and in a rocking motion, you're gonna push it all the way down into your ear canal. You know that it is inserted properly when this wire is flat against your skin. If you have anything sticking out, it is not inserted properly and that can be a cause for feedback. All right, so this style is an in-the-ear style hearing aid, it's custom. This one's a little bit more simple to get in the ear uh, you just need to make sure that it's oriented in the right direction. So make sure the writing is facing either front or back, depending on which hearing aid you have. And then typically on the end, you'll have a little white filter. You just want to make sure that that is pointed at the ear. And truthfully, it's that simple. Remember, better hearing helps improve your life your health and the quality of your relationships with others. Be patient on this journey. If you would, uh, we would love for you guys to come in and schedule an appointment to come see us. Give our office a call at 704-845-1717 and we'd love to walk you through this process. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us and we look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye guys.